Hi folks, this is Jay. Hope you're okay today. It's good to be with you. And we're asking about uh, why does God allow evil and suffering in the world? First scripture is Isaiah 55, 8 and 9. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, declare the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. And then Habakkuk chapter 2, 4. Behold, as for the proud, his soul is not right within him, but the righteous will live by faith. There, there are two great lessons that we need to learn, that ultimately, whoever we are, Christian or non-Christian, that ultimately God's in control and he knows what he is doing. Secondly, that we know everything, that we have to trust God uh, even in difficult times. But the Bible reveals to us in Genesis 1.28, God blessed them and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it and rule over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the sky and over every living thing that moves on the earth. The Bible teaches that God wanted to bless the world and man fell into sin, Genesis 3.17-18. to 18. Then to Adam he said, Because you have listened to the voice of your wife and eaten from the tree about which I commanded you, saying you shall not eat from the, it, cursed is the ground because of you. In toil you will eat all the days of your life. And then it says in Romans 8.22, For we know the whole creation groans and suffers the pains of childbirth together until now. So God made Adam and Eve, and Adam and Eve sinned, and it brought in suffering in the world. And Romans 5.12, Therefore, just as through one man sin entered to the world, death through sin, so death spread to all men because all sinned. Christ is now the answer to that suffering. He is the one that's going to put everything right. Ephesians 2, 3, Among them too all formerly lived in the lust of their mind, flesh, indulging the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as the rest. So God is saying that the human race is under the judgment of God. But then he says, Romans 3, 19, 12, What then? Are we better than they? Not at all. For we have already charged that both Jews and Greeks are all under sin, as it is written, There is none righteous, not even one. God says that we're all sinners. And then in Matthew 24, 22, Unless those days have been cut short, no, short, no life have been saved, but for the sake of the elect, those days will be cut short. So, the Word of God teaches, basically, that God allowed sin to come into the world because he allowed Adam and, Eve, Adam and Eve free will. They disobeyed and it brought in suffering. Christ has come to redeem people and the world where there will be no more suffering. Revelation 21.4 says, And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things have passed away. So this time of history is a time of, a problem it's a time when sin came in and brought suffering into the world but Christ has put it right by his death on the cross and if we trust in him he will be with us this is what God has revealed to us his ultimate plans are in his hands he knows best so it seemed fit to reveal a little bit of his plan and show us a little bit of why suffering has come into this world
So God has allowed things to happen for his plan and purposes and he's brought redemption through Christ Jesus and that is God, what God has revealed to us. I hope this is a blessing to you and I hope that you get a blessing from these videos. Thank you.